wouldn't you? Yeah. Sierra and her brain uh, pants. You'd rather be my subordinate, wouldn't you, Mark? Now take your clothes off, you filthy little. He's whipping you. He's whipping Mark. That's funny. Alright, back to the game. Boy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, God. yes. Get down on your knees, you bad boy. Oh, please. Please. You promise to be a good boy for Jane? You're gonna do every little thing Jane tells you to do? Yes. Oh, oh yes. Yes, but please be gentle. Now, what was my salary? Whatever you want. I don't care. Be gentle. Please. Just don't hurt me. Don't, don't hurt me, please. That's a good boy. We know who's the boss now, don't we, Mark? What the fuck? He's riding him like a fucking horse. Uh. You've done it. You've really done it. How could you make Jane into such a perverted young thing? She was such an innocent girl before you started screwing around with this story. Is this what you want? It's a chicken mask. <laughs> I've guided a lot of people through this story. It's a chicken I've mask. I've never seen such a disgusting it's upside series down. of plot choices in my life. But now that I know who I'm dealing with, I'm going to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. And get this story back on track. After this little episode, your score may be the lowest in this game's history. I hope you enjoy Saturday Night Television. Uh-oh, I screw up. Could you give me another run? <laughs> you lose a thousand, you lose 10,000 points for that. For choosing that choice. Jane says no to this disgusting proposal. You promise I'll get the job if I do this one thing, Mr. Thrasher? This little gesture will prove you're a team player, Jane. You have my word you'll get the job. Well, I guess it'll be all right this one time, won't it? Of course it will. You'll be very happy here working under me. Well, okay then. Why don't you get comfortable? Take a seat in that other chair. Now that's better. That's the spirit. I knew you could do it. Hope you don't mind being videotaped. Oh, Mr. Thrasher, Mark, I don't mind if you don't. Ugh! <laughs> Show this tape to your wife, you animal! You think I'm an idiot? You, you think you can waltz in here with that perky little face and those bouncy little breasts of yours and you get whatever you want? I'm gonna teach you a lesson you'll never forget! You little bitch! No one does that to me! Now I'm just watching. <laughs> Look how stupid this game is. That was dumb. Now she has a jacket on. That went outside with the wrong, I guess, huh? Help me, help! Run, Jane, run! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> A 
damsel in distress? Chased by a killer wielding a letter opener? Well, sport, do you think you can handle this choice without getting the lowest score in the history of this game? Who the hell are you? I'm taking over this story. Over my dead body? I can't remember, remember this on the game. You're not taking over no, the story. It's my it's story. Fine. 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 character and that horrible music. Name Selma. I'm what's known as a takeover artist wanted in 30 states for hijacking fiction. Probably seen my face at the post office for terrorizing those book of the month club romance novels. Now, if this is the first time you've had a story hijacked, well buckle up, cause I'm in charge. No. Now, Let's review the story up to this point. I'll just look at the choices you've made so far. Yes. <clears throat> I see. Well, what happened there? I don't see how you... How could you do that? I don't believe it. How could you make such choices? Were you raised in a barn? These are the most disgusting series of plot choices I have Shut ever up. seen. Shut up. Let me look at your score. You deserve every minus point you have gotten, and even more. You will hear from me again at the next choice. Run, Jane, run. Run, John, run. Damn, my score is hella low. John's not going to resort to violence. It's not politically correct these days. Why does it look like... Choose this decision if you think he's mad enough to try something else. I think I'm going to do that. It looks look like he's going to kiss him. <laughs> Stupid, why is he going to kiss him? Jane, run! Stop right there, mister! Let her go, she's nothing but trouble. What a gorgeous tie! From your mother? Yeah, how did you know? Only a mother could give a son a tie like that. Well, I had to wear it because... You know, she... you've got a beautiful body. You must work out. You know, I ride motorcycles, too. Don't you just love the feeling of the power between your legs? I never really thought about it that Don't way. Don't be shy. My guy's no. driving his pride. I know it's awkward. I've seen a lot of young men like you confused about their feelings. Confused? Well, yeah, I have been kind of messed up. Like I said, I know a lot about you. I can see it in your eyes. By the way, my name's Mark. My name's John. You're not confused now about your hey, John and Mark are you? reunited at last. I kind of now like... that's a start. <laughs> Why don't we go someplace quiet where we can talk man to man? What do you say? Well, sure. Sure, why not? Daddy was right. Not all men are dorks and geeks. Some are dorks and some are geeks and some are. Would you like to meet my mother? What the hell? They're friends? Yeah, alright, alright, I promise to do the right thing this time. Just give me another chance, okay? Alright, alright. Run, Jane, run. Run, John, run. Help me, help! 
Run, Jane, run! Oh my god. This shit in here, right? Is this a little new thing? Oh, but man. What the fuck is this? Just playing Johnny be good. Yeah, ma. Who the hell is that? His team lost tonight, Texas. That dude with the Texas rear on. He got eliminated tonight. James, I'm here. Hold on. Yeah, it's a 
jail for what you did to me. What'd he do to you? He wanted me to strip for him to get a job. You're disgusting. <laughs> Go, call the police. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Uh, I can make you an offer you won't refuse. There's no way you'll refuse it. It's been proven in many, many movies. What? A real job? Like in Working Girl? No, I'm offering you a lot more than that. Try five million dollars. Five million? For what? One night with you. I cannot believe how disgusting this story is. In the name of women throughout mm. the world, I demand See, this story stopped almost. right now. I'm sorry, but I for cannot allow here. this sexist trash to continue. I am going to liberate... What are you yeah. doing here? Uh... So much for that liberation front. They put an I'm back in control space. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for clapping. I remember that. Oh, no one takes over my story. Clapping. Men have been beaten, kicked, slugged, and spat on throughout this sorry tale. I'm telling you, I've had it with these uppity women. They can take over businesses, they can take over the damn government for all I care, but the one thing they will not take over is my story. And this story ain't over till I say it's over. Now let me see how you screwed up this time. Uh-huh. Just as I thought. You know, I give you a simple little task like getting these two lovebirds together, and look what happens. I hate to imagine what your love life is like, now let's see if you can save Jane from yourself. How could anyone refuse? Jane goes for it. Who wouldn't? You know, how could you know, Jane's really not that indecent. Choose this decision now. How could anyone refuse? Jane goes for it. Who wouldn't? Five million bucks for a night with her? Hey, butt out. This is between me and Thrasher, uh, Mock. Now let me get this straight. You want to pay me five million big ones for a one-night stand? Hmm. That's right, sweet cheeks. Five million to experience your abundant charm. Hey, bub. Five million bucks just bought all my charms. Let's get to it. What, 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 what about us? Go ride your bicycle. You're boring me. God, I can't believe you're so easy. I should have known. First thing I saw were those slutty eyes of yours. Sultry eyes, biker. Right, Thresher? Right, Thresher? You know, he's right. You are easy. I overestimated you. For five million bucks, I get the whole weekend. A whole weekend? You whore. Hormone, what were you going to do, buy me a soda and expect the same thing? I ain't that easy. You want a weekend, it's going to cost you seven and a half million bucks, buddy. Well, with that kind of attitude, I just might reconsider this entire proposal. Now, wait just a minute, bub. Your original deal was five mil for one night, right? So what's seven and a half for two nights? I'm giving you a two and a half million dollar discount. That's way too rich. Five and a half, and that's top dollar. No way, I ain't no slut. Seven. Six. Six 
and seven eighths. How much is that anyway? Too much for you. Five and three quarters. Six and six eighths. That's not right. <laughs> Come on, you guys. This whole thing is ridiculous. Shut up, Hormo. I'm thinking. Six and a half and not a penny more. I mean less. I'm serious. That's it or I'm out of here. I'm tired of this. Six and a quarter. Half the screen size. Why the fuck would I want to do that? I'm stupid. See, obviously, that's the coolest sport. The one I chose. Or no deal. Perhaps this will be a lesson for you. Perhaps you'll... Yeah, it looks cool, right? Yeah. Oh, she's the kitty cat. I think I'm almost done with the game, huh? Oh, he's locked. Though. Don't keep me in suspense. Give Whoa, deja vu. Don't keep me in suspense. Give Whoa, so. Jane, me. These two. Jane. So, who do you want to make the first? Jane, me. These two aren't ready to meet each other. I thought I already did this crap. What scene? Let my phone be.
it's terrible. I think I could go on it. Yeah. Five million bucks for a night with her? Hey, put out. This is between me and Thresher, Mark. Okay. That's enough of that.